Hello, this is Christina Wallace and welcome to my flower channel. Most certainly welcome back if you already are a subscriber. And uh, this week I've released uh, three foliage veins and I'm going to talk about the best way to use them to get the best results, um, even if you use different foliage veins. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to roll out my clay as I'm using cold porcelain clay here, on a green board. I do dust the board, I use self-made duster because it has very fine mesh there as opposed to the ones you buy which are presumably for cakes. Uh, it it kind of gives, uh, gives away more dust than I need on my tinted clay. And in the middle I have a groove that runs through the middle all the way for my wiring. You can thin it down at the very end because the wire only goes halfway. And um, yet yeah, for a fine cutter like this, um, petal base is very good. But in general, it's a good idea to use petal base to clear the edges easier. And I just press it in and then flip it. It's a technique for this particular cutter because it is very fine and you really, really want to clear it before you get your cut out out. With metal cut cutters you don't have to be quite so particular. And here I'm just pressing down to thin the edges without disturbing the jiggity um, edge, the jiggity line. I want it to stay as sharp as possible. Bit of water and there goes the wire. Always use green wire because sometimes it picks through just that teeny weeny bit even if it's still covered with clay or what have you so you don't want it to be white and your vena here should be covered with petal base again so that you uh, put your cut, cut out over it and secure it in place otherwise it might not go on very very well especially that the middle is not straight it's a little bit curved which is why I curved the wire Okay, and here we go. Very nicely, very nicely shaped. I really am pleased with this vena, if I, even if I say so myself. And this is just to make it more apple like. You can fiddle around with your own little shape. It needs to be a little bit thicker for you to do this. And that's a ready, ready cut out. And here we have your uh, rose. And for rose one, I've added a little bit of holy green sugar flare. Sugar flare is absolutely fine for clay as well as for sugar, and it gives you that particular nice color. And it's exactly the same technique. And I do curve this edge out, whereas for apple, I was using a bowl tool to curve it in. And once your clay is totally dry, you do this. So this shows you the texture in the back very nicely. And I'm going to add a little bit of dust. I'm not a huge fan of dusting. Not a huge fan of dusting called porcelain at all. Whereas dust works really nicely on sugar. So uh, I'm going to add a bit of dry brushing. It's a very popular technique for cold porcelain. <coughs> Excuse me. Basically it's a mix of white and green paint and dry brush as I said. And here's Universal Leaf Vena along with Apple Leaf Vena. It's been quite a bestseller so far. So yeah, uh, do please check measurements. And to use a, a big ball tool here, it doesn't curl the edge of your leaf. So that's why I've used it. And basically the same everything applies. It could be quite tricky to get your leaf out. So you have to be a little bit careful and definitely apply petal base because otherwise it's um, quite a chance that your leaf will stick in inside the vena. Sometimes you find that the leaf has less definition closer to its edges 
So you could try thinning it more and removing some of the definition by just using your ball tool like so outwardly. Um, you can leave definition as is or you could even both remove definition and break uh, the sides of the leaf but this leaf is kind of a more of a fresh leaf not autumn leaf so I'm going to leave the edges intact but yeah there's different things you can do with it. If you leave all the texture in, you could really have a good play with dust and different shades and everything. I actually prefer using paints and dry brushing for my cold porcelain. I'm not a huge fan of dusts, but sometimes for more dramatic textures, they work really, really well. Uh, you have to find uh, a, fix a fixative for your dust for cold porcelain uh, or if you... If you use sugar, then just steam it. It's all good with sugar. And I find that um, mixing sugar flare and oil paints really could improve the colors of your clay um, because clay is very thirsty for oil paints, but sugar flare seem to tint it really, really well. In general, sugar flare, and I'm not sponsored by, by it, but it's a fantastic paste really it stays it doesn't fade the quality is amazing and the colors are pretty good okay so i hope you found this video useful to yourselves no matter what veiners uh, and cutters you're using but if you want to purchase my veiners any of these three the link to the sale is in the description and it's for £16, including postage for every one of you who is in UK, or for £24, truck delivery to America, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. So, yes, if you follow the link, it would put you through PayPal transaction. And at this, have a lovely weekend, and I will see you again very soon. Take care for now.